Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss about string buffer and string builder. So already in the last video, we discussed about string, right? So what is the difference between the string and the stuffs actually? So, okay. So you have the use case, okay? Maybe you will keep on change the values, okay? So you mean you are, you are creating on string and you want to keep on changing the values. So those type of use cases, you can come for the string buffer and string builder because these are mutable. You know that string is a immutable. So once you create the string, you cannot change that. If you are overriding, it will create a new object in the string constant pool. But as it is a string buffer, it will just remove that old one and it will create a new one in the heap memory basically. Okay. So when you are keep on changing the string value, then you can come for the string buffer and string builder. Okay. So this is the first step actually. So that is the reason we are calling is a both are mutable. Okay. Then what is second point? String buffer is a synchronized. Again, as we are having string buffer and string builder, which use cases I have to go for string buffer and which use cases I have to go for string builder. Right. So this question may be occur. Right. So string buffer is synchronized. What is this mean synchronized actually? So when you are working in big applications, basically, okay, the application code, maybe we can have a multiple threads can access threads is nothing, but it is like similar, like a process basically. Okay. For example, I am trying to, I'm trying to run one logic actually just adding two numbers, just assuming that, okay, to add the two numbers, maybe at a time, Okay, maybe one guy can call the method or hundred guys can call the method, right? So maybe as, as, it, as it is, maybe thousands of or lakhs of users you are, uh, people are using in your application, they can add the, they can call the method, okay, to add two numbers, maybe hundred of people or thousand of people can access at same time the methods, right? So it means that thousand input is coming to, I mean thousand request is coming to the method. It means thousand threads basically it is coming to the method. When, when string buffer you are using actually, so as it is synchronized actually, so it will allow only one thread, I mean it will allow only one user inside the method basically. Okay. But string builder is not like that. It will allow hundred user actually. So it is not synchronized basically string buffer is synchronized actually. So it means that string buffer is a thread safe. Even hundred or thousand of people are trying to access that. It will not behave something roughly because it will allow only one by one, one by one actually. But string builder is not like that. Maybe hundred of people is trying to access one guy is inserting, one guy is removing. So it can get collapse when we are running in the multiple thread environment basically. Just assuming that. Okay, I'm, I'm going to tell you an example. Okay, if you people are already booked some railway ticket or bus ticket, right? So did you thought any time like when you are trying to book railway tackle tickets, just assuming that if you see that when you are trying to book the tackle ticket, the ticket has been booked within two to three minutes, right? But in the two to three minutes, just assume that how many lakhs of people will try to access the tickets, right? So maybe lakhs and lakhs of people trying to book the tickets, but the tickets availability is only hundred or 200, right? So how specific people can book the ticket and others, they cannot able to book that. That is because of the system is taking care of that. Maybe lakhs of request is coming to the system to book the tickets, but system is allowing your application is allowing only one people inside to book the ticket basically internally. So if you are using string buffer, that will be great actually. So it will allow only one people to allow and book the tickets. But if you are using string builder, it may be book same ticket for two or three peoples. So then it will be collapse at the time of people when they are traveling, right? So that is the reason we are using string buffer in the multiple thread and environment. So that because that is synchronized string builder is not like that. This is not synchronized. So when you want to do some retrieval operation, just assuming that people want to check how many tickets are available. So lakhs and lakhs people are trying to read the tickets, how many tickets are available. We, you should respond them all people at the same time, right? Maybe hundred tickets are available. You should show them that hundred tickets are available. You should not send one by one. Then the time will get uh, reduced, right? So 
the first guy will see 100 second guy will see 99 only that guy will see 98 only so it would be like mismatch right you should not so to show in purpose you show how many tickets are available but booking time you should allow only one so you can assume that to show the purpose you can use string builder to book the ticket you can go for a string buffer okay so let me tell you small example how to create string buffer and string builder okay i already created on java class basically if you see that this is my main method inside that this is the way we are going to create a string buffer so string buffer any object reference name equal to new string buffer of if you see here this string buffer is giving lot of internal methods for you to do lot of activities like if you see the append append is nothing but it is allowing you to add some values basically it will append into along with string buffer maybe if i am appending uh, first i am appending take bus okay then i am trying to append okay so i am trying to append blocks take bus blocks right so if i try to print here so yes buffer right f buffer i am trying to print here let's see what is the output it is giving it will give tech bus blocks because internally it is appending it is giving the beauty it is giving the method to achieve your like adding the values into the single string buffer right so but when you are trying to do this in multiple threaded environments so lot of activities when you are trying to do so that means some mismatch can happen right maybe thousand of people trying to append that I don't know so how basically it will trade so first this guy is getting and then this guy so don't think about it that that will be get collapse right so that is what the different main difference you can see that this is a thread safe okay string builder is not a thread safe not a thread safe okay this is a major difference okay hope you understood what is the difference between string string buffer and string builder right thanks thanks for watching bye bye